Hello YouTube and welcome to my Fallout 4 factory. Now this is a video I did uh, quite some time ago. Um, I've updated it a lot since then, but as you can see here, I've got all my conveyor belts that go from the workshop via a vacuum hopper round all around the conveyor belts through these sorters. Um, it means I get to keep all my guns, armor, chems, clothes, ammo. Question mark is for unsure yet, because um, as I said, it was in a making process. Now this, I have no idea why I did this. Um, but I just found it absolutely hilarious because I came in one day and there were two just naked guys on the floor. So I was like, well, let's just let them get comfortable. And uh, yeah, they are no longer in my uh, factory. I spent months out of the game and then when I went back in, they had despawned. So meh, it was fun while it lasted. But as you can see, I left this quite open. Um, I've redone quite a lot of this factory. I've deleted one whole top floor because it was just huge. Um, the concept of this was to have everything coming from the workshop, get sorted, separated out into things that I like to keep. Anything I don't want drops into that, hop, uh, that hopper there, down the floor, drops into another hopper here. I mean, you can see conduits and um, switches absolutely everywhere, but I do neaten it up and change everything around. I delete all these hoppers, all these conveyor belts, but so everything that um, special wise, uh, as you can see at the top, um, further up goes back up I don't know why I did that things dropping down and then back up again I think it was so I could walk around on the top level without having conveyor belts go across the pathway so I can go there but this is quite complex um, it's quite open and I wanted to figure out how to cram everything close together so I can basically create pretty much everything in the game that I tend to use uh, with regards to ammo clothes armor um, all that kind of stuff because I do like to keep my settlers um, equipped and even the one the caravans that go between I like to give them all mining helmets with uh, renamed mining helmets shall I say to basically say where they're going from and to which is kind of cool um, ties in well with my factories as well um, but as you can see this is quite open I wanted it originally to look really open and have all the conveyor belts smushed together so you didn't have to kind of walk around the whole factory to get things um, but as I said the concept was for everything to come in go up get separated out into their ingredients um, the things that I don't want to keep because that's already been taken out of the things that I do um, and then it will go into all the machines craft everything that I want with all the switches down at the front that I am going to put and then drop right down to the bottom and be fully available in the opposing um, storage uh, hoppers as I believe but yeah so um, I've got rid of a lot of this stuff but it's really nice I think the way that I built it um, just the, the, the certain walls that I used um, like the different heights and the glass um, so yeah here I put a nice little planting thing I thought it was quite you know just change it up a little bit um, for food and whatnot just so I can jump that down if I need to put anything in there but yeah, so this was a real effort, this area here. Um, as you can see, this entrance that I walked through now took forever to do. I'm not kidding, it absolutely took hours of... Because obviously, as you know, if when you play Fallout 4, it's you have to place certain things next to each other, then delete the previous thing and place another thing and it, yeah the the build order is insane so i'll get a fast shot here so you can actually see the size of it um and then we're finishing up so that's pretty much it thank you very much for enjoying the video and uh give a like and yeah enjoy thanks